All right. Well, we are live, guys. We are back with another BX Dungeons and Dragons adventure. Uh, taking up in Ravenloft after they have retrieved the Sun Sword. Richard, who are you playing tonight? Well, magic user. Yeah. All hail Fig Jam. <laughs> yes, yes. Fig Jam, the. Uh, so, what level is your wizard now? I don't like to talk about it. <laughs> I'm only level five. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the best fifth level wizard or magic user we have in this party. All right, hold on. Uh, we're we're hearing that uh, they are not hearing us. So give me just one second here. Let oh the screen catch my! Up. Uh, it's oh, like thirty seconds behind. So yeah. just come on. Yeah. But my beautiful, beautiful introduction. <laughs> All right. So apparently it's good yet. now. We just missed Richard's wonderful, wonderful introduction. But we'll we'll go on from there. Fig Jam, fifth level, very disappointed in himself. Dion, who are you playing today? <laughs> in myself? Uh, no. <laughs> in you and your technology failings or Twitch? Oh. Yes, definitely. But myself? Uh, no. Brimming uh, confidence. Apologies. Cool. You're good. You're good. Uh, I'm Dion. I'm playing a C, the human thief. Yeah. What level? Oh, I'm level six. See, I, I have to know how many levels that I can drain you from on this uh, this today's <laughs> oh, encounter. So right, I got to know what that it. threshold is. Oh, Jameis. No. <laughs> I'm playing Far Cry 5. I mean, um, what? <laughs> uh, no, Galen Rayhorn, Cleary Elf Priest, level five. Level five. All right. Jeff. Jeff, I'm playing Darby, a fifth level dwarf. I'm still asking myself why I was backstabbed last week. Yes, who by Jazz, who suspiciously is is just missing tonight. So yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh, he has something to do be forgiven. Forgiven, yeah. Darby is currently the holder of the Sun Sword too. All right, all right. So, and bringing up the end, but certainly uh, not the least of the group, Bill, who is not currently a talking skull. Oh, no, I am not a talking skull. Um, sometimes I wish I was, because then I would have a few more options, but, you know, I like having my body. Um, I'm playing Radnor the Large. I am a sixth level magic user. I probably will be a sixth level magic user for a very long time um, because I was say, until the day you die pretty much <laughs> which might be today and you're still radnar the large despite you know like all the cardio you've been getting lately from running um yep. still <laughs> radnar the large it's all about the carbs man you, can, you gotta stop eating all those pies <laughs> ah, you're right. well yeah. i mean i'm just they're just so tasty all right, guys, so last episode, you had a confrontation with Strahd. You destroyed one of his resting places. He disappeared, seemingly, though, not defeated. You breached a church deep within uh, Strahd's sanctum here that has been left untouched for many, many years. And you found that all this time, someone had been holding on to the hilt of a very great magic item, which was reunited with its blade currently on Darby's side. Uh, so exactly how did you hogtie Jazz, and where is he currently being propped up? <laughs> That's spread eagled on the altar, ready as a sacrifice. Mm. <laughs> uh, yes, Jazz seemed to be possessed. Uh, well, maybe. Uh, you know, maybe he just really never really liked Darby and backstabbed him for that sword. Uh, yeah. You can never tell with Jazz. His yeah, secrets yeah, are yeah. many. <laughs> but he hurts. <laughs> You've got two kidneys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Suck it up, dwarf. Suck it up. <laughs> All right. So you find yourself in uh, this chapel to some unknown god, but you found a holy relic. Well, a holy uh, symbol that seems to the... Mm -hmm give Galen good feelings and you have this sword that glows with the light of the sun when you draw it and what now you still got that frozen chair 
Is he actually alive as such, or is he just completely... Well, how would you like to find out? He seems to be completely just unmoving. Uh, he's covered in inches of dust and cobwebs. I'll poke him. You want to poke him? Uh, well, his In flesh... In particular, poke the neck right about there with two fingers to sort of see if there's something wrong. All right. Uh, Captain threw down 100 bits. You can use that as... Uh, you can bank two re-rolls or somebody can heal a hit die. So Ooh, add that to your stash. Thank you, Captain. Um, well, when you poke right. him, he feels solid as a statue. Your finger comes away with this, you know, year's worth of dust on your fingertip. Um, it didn't feel like flesh, felt a lot more like stone. He was he in the picture, or was it just this place was in the picture? Big Jen, no, it was just the place. Yeah. I would have mentioned it if there was a frozen guy stretched out reaching for something. Ah. He took artistic license and just figured he'd not draw the guy in because you know it just, just didn't work for the composition. <laughs> Mm. Oh, since I seem to do before, seem to do something before with uh, jazz, I'll take the holy symbol and touch it to him. Okay, uh, you do so. Uh, there, other than coming back with a bunch of dust, there doesn't seem to be any reaction. And no. again, it's he's as solid as stone. Like there's no give of flesh. Like, yeah, I think I mean, no idea that. what killed this person even. Petrified or something. I mean, we could dust him off and look for obvious wounds and things. That's about. It's a tip over. <laughs> I think I was about to do it last time. I can't tip remember. Over. But I would. No, not tip him over. <laughs> I can't remember, but I think we got interrupted by stuff. So I will take the 10 minutes to refocus and look around and see if there's anything magical in nature here. All right. Well, if you're taking 10 minutes to do that, if everybody wants to take a short and get a hit die back, you can do that. Yeah. Yeah. Do we get any, do we get any spells back? Yeah. No. You haven't had a long rest um, since visiting. Well, you haven't had a long rest yet. Let's just put it that yeah, way. We, we, we right. need to have a long rest at some point to regain all our spells. But it's it's more wishful versus thinking. what the hell is the vampire? Is the... We never actually got a name, any kind of name for fruit. I mean, is the Dark Lord going to do if we rest up? Is he still around? Will he attack us? What the hell's mm -hmm. up? We don't know. Because we don't know he's down for 24 hours. So anybody that needs to take... Uh this 10 minute time uh, and you can roll a hit die get that many hit points back richard once fig jam takes the time to focus his inner light the whole room actually has a very um very weak magical presence that you have come to know to be spiritual it's divine like this is this is a blessed sanctuary like uh it's yeah it's blessed to some god or dedicated to some god the sun sword and the holy symbol brightly glow with power, same kind of divine power. Otherwise, um, the man glows like very faintly, like uh, so s something caused him to be in this form that was magical, but it's been a very long time. I mean, I assume everything has been a very long time. Yeah. Well, the the blessing is still there. Like the, this this ground is still sanctified, but it is yeah. weak. Uh, like it has been a while, but it's still there. The sun sword and the amulet are very strong, radiating a lot of power. See, fish to stone is six level. So. <laughs> Yeah. Really so while you guys are contemplating this, and you're taking ten minutes to bandage up your wounds. Uh, <laughs> slap band-aids on and that sort of thing uh there is a polite knock at the outer doors who is it Wait, the outer doors the outer doors like so you doors to this room yeah dave's not here <laughs> pardon i bear food and drinks from my master not is rat it? this time oh. I found much better fare. Uh, come in. <laughs> As you quickly think through your mind something about 
giving vampires access by allowing them in. Mm -hmm. Um, So, yeah, the door opens and uh, there's Cletus. He's got a big tray of some kind of steaming soup, uh, some fresh bread, a couple of bottles of wines, uh, all of this uh, on a tray of silver with silver goblets. And he comes in, he places a tray down for a moment long enough to close the door. And he comes forward, um, not minding the petrified man leaning across the altar. And he just lays the tray on the altar. He just kind of pushes aside some things. <laughs> lays the tray on the altar. Oh, my master, I bid you uh, a hearty fast and uh, requests uh, once you're done. Uh, a very small, a very small favor. Uh, but uh, please eat, eat first, eat first. I'll, uh, I'll allow you to eat. He kind of bows and he's walking backwards to the doors. I'll, I'll come back in half an hour. A rat uh, scurries out of his sleeve and he grabs it. He's like, oh, <laughs> we'll cook you later. <laughs> Closes the door. Is my uh, uh, magic sight still up? I'm going to assume so, unless you tell me you put it down. Right. Yeah, because I just want to look at him and see if he is magical in any way. No, not at all. Not in the least. Neither is the I, food and beverages that were wow. put out in front of you. I, for one, fully believe and trust Cletus with my life, so I start digging in. <laughs> I'm just like, there's no way that man would poison that food. He was too nice to me earlier. He's, is he's a gentleman. Cletus? Yeah. He's nice. a little weird, but he's a decent dude. I think we should like take him with us afterwards when we kill his master and everything and leave him jobless. <laughs> Uh, so you pull off the lid on the soup. It's just a hearty uh, root and meat soup. Um, smells delicious. A couple of bottles of wine and a bottle of water. I uh, I open the Raven Loft wine that I still have and split that with everyone, too. Yeah. I'll take a glass of wine. I was going to sell it, but this is too stressful. <laughs> Oh, there's two more bottles on this tray. <laughs> uh, I'll eat uh, one of the uh, vials of army I have. Okay. Yep. Get some more hit points back. Yeah. A D8? D8. Mm-hmm. Nice. You've also found with those uh, honey potions that you can rub them on wounds as well. You don't necessarily have to drink them. Has oh, the same geez. effect. So uh, three hit points back. All right. Do Is we anyone... have any of those that I can use? I'm at 18. Uh, check your inventories. I yeah, I don't know how many people have left. I don't have any. That's why uh, I'm you just can rub this one on yourself. I am not doing that. Ooh, oh, I want you to rub it in. <laughs> hey now. How much is it? It's a D8. A uh, hundred gold if you want me to D8. rub it in. <laughs> 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 Worth every damn penny. All right, four. Okay. Damn. Um, anyone, else, anyone else eating and drinking? Um. Now you made me regret doing it so easily. Oh, you seem fine. The, the yeah. stew is actually, it's spicy, it's hot, it tastes good. The bread Everyone's is... Everyone's uh... just staring at me, waiting for me to die before the <laughs> Yeah, <end>. pretty much. <laughs> it's oh. like in Clue. It's Damn. poison. We should have fed it to uh, Jazz beforehand. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, our canary rather than you. The, the, only, the only thing you have uh, negative to say about what you're eating there... Um, see is that the bread is a little hard like it was baked uh, much earlier in the day so you're not getting fresh bread but other than that it it's pretty good mm. Imagine this guy <laughs> Captain Curian wants to know what kitchen. kind of meat it is you're not exactly sure what kind of meat it is but you are absolutely <laughs> certain that Cletus would not feed you rat if he says he's not feeding you rat <laughs> yeah he likes his rat he would be proud of it it tastes it tastes like some kind of bird Pheasant, oh, really? chicken, yeah. You said pork. I was like, oh god, we're eating people. <laughs> Long pork. I was suggest, hey, Jameis, where's your horse? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was the closest source of meat behind you are. But yeah. Uh, in terms of eating humans, well, I'm an elf. Do you think that hasn't happened before? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, it's not cannibalism for you, so yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm sure. Not I guess if it's... And for a penny and for a pound. I'll have some. 
and put the bread in the studio up so you can have a link to that video as well. Cool, cool. All right. Uh, well, whoever eats uh, now, see, he just opened up his own bottle of wine. Was sharing that, so the other two bottles have been unopened. But again, it's nourishing. It tastes fine uh, after some time. There's no ill effects. Okay. This is so, another cool. short rest. <laughs> well, uh, thirty minutes later, uh, Cletus comes back in, and he's uh, bearing another silver tray that has intricate little uh, dessert tarts on it. Uh, it takes the old tray, leaves a couple of bottle line, wine and water in your goblets. Bring these in and says, my master has a very uh, simple proposition. If you were to see your way clear to simply leave that glowing bright, oh, that is very bright, sword uh, in this room, uh, or perhaps outside of the room would be better, and leave, he would grant you safe passage back to whatever realm you find your way here from. Away huh. home. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> so what did we need to leave behind here? Oh, the sword, uh, that brightly glowing, oh, it, it, it hurts, actually, right, so it hurts a little. Is... That sword. Okay. Hmm. So that's the thing that he was looking for, then, I guess, that one of us had. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, okay, might be. That's interesting. Why didn't you tell us you had it, Darby? Yeah, 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 I had it. But uh, the problem is it was already a magical sword. <laughs> <laughs> I it here, I got no more magical sword. Okay. Yeah. But, you know, if... Well, oh, these if, things if, take time to consider. I understand. Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. give you an hour before dawn. And he lays down, he pulls out of his like his voluminous robes, this large sand timer, and lays it down. And then I'm afraid he will have to let loose all of the bats and wolves and other things and leave behind such tremendous amount of scat that I have to clean. I'd really rather not have to do that. Uh, just describe these tarts for me what 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 are these what what flavors are these oh these are made from berries grown here on the properties themselves i assure you they're very tangy yet sweet at the same time the rats really enjoy them i use them to catch my rats which taste much better are you sure you wouldn't like a rat he I'm, pulls I'm a couple positive. of kebabs that have rat skewered on them that have been cooked they're quite good are they still warm i can warm them for you <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Yeah. You know what, Cletus? I'm gonna I'm gonna trust you with how delicious that dinner you made was. I'm gonna trust you. Yeah, let me try that rat. Oh here you go. Hey. It has my own special sauce on it. It's so good. It's tangy. Oh okay. so tangy. I'm gonna try a piece. I'll just leave this other one here on the tray, and uh, I'll let you debate your circumstances. And again, I, I urge you, I urge you to take the master's choice, as I dearly, dearly don't like having to shovel wolf crap. Thank you. Bows and kind of <laughs> goes out of the room. It tastes like chicken. <laughs> you know, it's, it's actually, it just tastes like meat. It's, you know, the sauce is a little tangy, a little tart. That's not, not horrible. It's not, it's not bad. <laughs> You've had worse trail rations. Um. So if I wonder if we can trust him to actually send us home if we just leave it here. I mean, he said just the sword, right? Yeah. So I like I lower my voice even though I know Cletus isn't here anymore. I'm just like, but we just found that sword. Like w he said we had something on us before that. But like, w did he just think we had the sword already? Like, well again, remember how the sword appeared. Um, Darby's hilt caused it to form. Mm. Oh, where'd you get the hilt from? The hilt, the, the sword, I got it back from, well... It's you, Pen, Penhelgian, where you guys, yeah. Uh, yeah. 
it, it, uh, it was a plus two plus no 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 it was a plus one plus two what is this math uh, Dwarf plus, is talking about? He's clearly gone plus, insane. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it was not uh, useful against Undead. So it was just now. a regular magical sword that you had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Well. Thank you. Run of the mill, it's ordinary, it's magical it's sword. You know, dime a dozen. People throw them out with the laundry. Every... <laughs> no, 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 no. It was the first magical item I got. So, he really wants that sword. But why? Well, Presumably, I mean, it was kept here in a um, blessed place. Oh, if I, yeah, this place is still blessed, even after however long it's been abandoned. Yeah. If you didn't know. It's really a nice sword. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think, Jen, would any of the places like go here and push a button and the whole place will detonate or something? <laughs> I mean, we only got them from tarot cards, so I mean, not as far as I know, were there any self destruct buttons there? Yeah, because one was here's this place that you can rest, sort of. One was here's a place where you can always find the dark board, which we did. And what were the other places? I don't know, it was so long ago now. I'd have to look at my notes, and who knows where they are. <laughs> well, I don't know about you guys, but as a thief, or a locksmith, I think is what the trader calls it, uh, I'm totally cool with taking the coward's way out, leaving the sword, and going back home and forgetting all this happened. I, I am totally okay with being the first person to admit that, but I'm good with whatever, because clearly I can't leave if we decide to kill the vampire. So... Uh, one of the cards that you haven't found the room for yet shows a study. Which was supposed to be what? It's got information in it. Yeah, but I'm just... Because uh, they... When she when she said, "Okay, here's this place. There's some basic information about it." What was the basic information about the study? Let's see. Uh, it was. It's a place of tranquility, uh, a harbor That's for the mighty are. and powerful. Is the place of wisdom, warmth, and despair. Great secrets are here. What the hell does this? Become? Damn stupid prophecies. Speak plainly, damn it. <laughs> You see, you gotta find your swag here, and uh... <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh... Well, we'll go with, with the blue. Yep. So, judging by how far the sand is falling, you've got about an hour to make your decision. We could spend that time to get back a first level spell. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Could do. If you're healed up, um, you could get a first oh, level spell back. But he said he was going to send, like, everything at us. And those bats <laughs> were, I mean, they if ate we Irina back for that to work. No, I'm not healed up, so that's not going to work. Um, We still haven't actually confirmed that he. Oh no, we just sort of have a by inference that he's evil. He's been sending. He has dark minions that go into the village that kill people. No, he's evil. Okay, fine. I mean, also, his minions ate Marina. I mean, you know, to be fair, most of those villagers were complete assholes. I mean, really, can you call that evil? <laughs> <laughs> and it was just bats being bats. I mean, they're just doing what bats do. You know? No, you bats really don't play. do that. <laughs> Do not strip people down to the bone. Flying piranha bats do. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, I don't know specifically about the bats here. Yeah. Um, well, this is a neat place we've got a sword. The problem is just, we just have not explored this bloody place at all, so there might be something useful around, like that study, for example. We have no clue where could it just is. just run from room to room really quickly. Yeah. <laughs> Just kick in all the doors as we go along, just looking for a study, and if it's not a study, move on to the next room. 
in some ways. <laughs> it's probably the quickest way. <laughs> that certainly sounds like some sort of plan to me. We need to get yeah. some. We need to get like some torch bearers or something. We could make do stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we had magpie. <laughs> I assume that's Wait. why she was hired to begin with, but I mean... But do we treat the cast as a funnel? They just funnel all the zero people pieces through it. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, go to the, we go to the nearest tavern, get a bunch of guys in red shirts, and that's all we need. Yeah. Well, being here is not great. Let's go somewhere else and see what's around. We've still got an hour. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, let, let's bring the horror glass. If we turn it right back down the way, then we'll run out. Yeah. All right, well, in the room that you are in now, uh, there are two alcoves uh, in here. So K17, K16. K16 leads up to a set of stairs that kind of go straight up. K17 is a windy set of stairs that go up and down. Yeah. Hmm. Do we clear out the bottom floor first? <clears throat> do we think that's where this study is going to be most likely? Or... I think it's going to be somewhere else. <laughs> Hard to tell, but mm. let's go down. Yeah. Uh-huh. We've been down, haven't we? No, uh, we, we, well, we went down to one level and we sort of poked around a bit. So we're, right. well, we're, we're not giving up and running away. I just want to <laughs> make sure. Like, I mean, the option is there. They, he said leave the sword outside the room. We'll be outside the room at this point. So, you know, the option's still there. Well, he, he said you could leave it here or, or better outside the room. But he did say you could leave it here. Like yeah. he, the servant had no problem coming into this room. Yeah. So I'm just saying we could leave it anywhere in the castle. It's not not leaving it in the room. Does not dictate us not leaving it somewhere else. So we leave yeah. it on us. <laughs> yeah, we're leaving it on David for the moment. Down. What? Two K seventeen then. Okay, so this ends by somebody knifing Darby, and as his body falls to the ground, you go, "There's your sword, right there." <laughs> <laughs> so we're going down K seventeen, down, down, down the windy way down. down. All right. So in which case, um, let me uh, move map here a little bit. Do, 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 do. Oh, did I not? I must not have. Uh... Oh, no, I did. We okay. weren't we were supposed to go here. Whoops. <laughs> you fall off the edge of the map. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, there. Uh, so it goes down uh, to this area again. Uh, comes out, it goes down further, but it, it, it goes down one level here to where Cletus's uh, rooms were, the very long stair going up is. But it, said we're going down, so we're going down. You're going to go down, all right. Yep, down. Katie. He's a dwarf, he likes being down. <laughs> yeah. Just catacombs. Yep, actually, that's exactly what you find. Um, as you go down a bit further, the stairs finally ends, and uh, give me a second here. Yeah, we're still going to continue locking it. Yeah, so this is like a relatively flat area it extends uh just a large large way so like what i've uh, shown you right there is about as far as your light extends to and what you're seeing here if i can get to the map key of course the description is huge too all right, so buried deep beneath the keep of Ravenloft, this arched ceiling sags over squat crypts, crypts fall, forming through these catacombs. Uh, there's a thick fog clinging to the floor here that comes up about knee height, and yes, it's the same fog that you have seen outside. Cobwebs hang limp in the musty air. The dust has settled over everything, filling the crypts engravings, making it difficult to make out the names of those buried here. So what each one of these little... Um, like room things are, they're crypts. Well, I almost died when we went into the uh, mist before, so, you know, 
I'm not all that happy to be venturing into those. So I'm going to extend it out a little bit more to see show, to show you how many more there are. Uh, in the middle here, there looks like to be a... Um, wow. Right here is where the stairs come out. So like there's a, a double wide corridor, and then to the left and to the right are just, you know, crypt upon crypt. And it just stretches out into the darkness. I mean, that's crypt really was one of players. the cards as well. Yeah. Well, wasn't that the crypt where we found the stone coffin? Um, or was it a different? There were two different yeah. cards. Yeah, this is the other card. Okay, it's the yeah okay. the room of squat blocks. So, crypts. what's that card show specifically on it? Well, nope. like, there's a good way to make players paranoid is to individual each and every crypt. So you think <laughs> so it's not just oh yeah, these ones are all contain something unique and these ones are all sort of the same. No, they're all got different descriptions. <laughs> mm. What's the one that's on the card show? Because it shows like a part of the room, right? Yeah, yeah there it, might just be. Yeah, it just area. shows like these concrete, almost bunker-like things. All right, let's go check that area out. I mean, it's the mist. Oh, there's just mist through the entire place? I thought that's what it said. Am I incorrect? Yes. Yep. I am incorrect. So, uh, no, no, no. They, so the card, I was looking at the card. Sorry, Richard. Nobody takes notes, oh, apparently. Right. <laughs> um, so this is where uh, the fallen kings and princes of old uh, have uh, met their resting place. The brother of dark is light, and he rests in this place. The brother of dark is light, and he rests in his place. In this place, yep. So, if that person we have met is dark, then... The so, the brother of knows. dark is light, or the brother of darkest light. <laughs> <laughs> she did kind of slur her words drunkenly, so that could be open to interpretation. <laughs> uh -huh. um, and there was no one particular identifying mark on the crypt of the, the picture that we not in the picture there. no it's not like messy, so. <laughs> so we would just have to run in there and open up as many as we can <laughs> i uh, like that idea did anyone take the sand timer by the way or are you just kind of yeah, guesstimating no, we took it. <laughs> okay Someone yeah, take it. I, yeah I, I did think it yeah. all right um i look around and see if there's a big gong or something i can use to wake them all up <laughs> The dinner bell, you mean? Um, all right. So, are you going right, left, or are you going to continue just straight on? Well, is 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 Fig Jim going to go at all? Is the first question because of the mist. He's going to go. Oh, there's mist. No, yeah. let's go. Yeah, the mist well, is the again. Mist it's that we saw before. Yeah, it right? is the same mist you saw before. It's kind of like up above your ankles, almost knee level. Which is, I mean, how tall was it outside? Uh, during the day, about like this. During the night, it got much higher, but it is night now, so. But it's not higher. No. Right now. So maybe it comes out of here at night and goes into the land. I don't know. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to continue out just along the main stretch there. I'm not going to go into but just along the okay. main. There's a very wide staircase that goes down. Does That's he, unusually does wide. Collapse? <laughs> well, again, oh, yeah. the, 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 the mist is not getting up past knee level. So it looks like he's crawling. Sorry. He's not down in it. I mean, so I'm it crawling was up over my face last time when I collapsed into it. No, so. you were. You, you were, were deep in the yeah. mist. You yeah. were completely surrounded. Oh, look at the one. You stepped off the path, and off the yeah. path was just all mist. Yeah. Okay. You may not have pictured it like that, but it was. No, I did you not just walked into, it like that. You it walked into a bank of mist. Okay, that's fine. Then, yeah, or okay, okay, if it's down that low, then yeah. I've got... Yeah. Now, does the mist go oh, down the stairs, or does the mist continue? <laughs> just... <laughs> uh, no, actually, you would be walking down into the mist if you went down these stairs. It like It's like uh, after four or five steps, the mist would be up to your chest, and then past that, it would be over your head. Oh. Um. That's not great. If that noise, 
Oh, go ahead and roll me a d6, by the way, while you're standing on the steps there. Uh, sure. I don't know if I want high or low, but I got medium. Okay. So I'm not surprised, but I don't detect anything. No, there's something standing uh, on this. Like, uh, you can see that there's, uh, because the, the walls come up high, but here, let me just unveil this just a little bit more so you can see better what I'm talking about. All right, so the landing below you, uh, you really can't see what's in the landing, but you can see these walls that come up almost to the level of the top step. And there's something standing in the middle of that that comes all the way up. So that thing's like 30 feet tall, vaguely mannish shape. You think maybe it's a, a huge statue perhaps, uh, but the mist is obscuring everything, so it's hard to tell. Hmm. I'll look in one of the alcoves. Uh, that would be going into you the would mist. have to go down into the mist. So all you're seeing is like the top, the very top of the alcove as it curves. You see the curved wall, but you can't see down into the bottom of it without getting into the mist. Okay, no, I, I was talking about one of the... Oh, the crypts up there. Right. Oh, okay. All right, well, the crypts are numbered. Which one do you want to take a look at? Look at 18. 18. 18 is a good number to die on. Okay. Um, the stone of this crypt has been laid to the side. So, like, it's been, it's off the top of the crypt and kind of just laying to the edge. And uh, there is engraved letters on it. Uh, you have to kind of rub off the cobwebs to see it really well. Do you want to do that? Oh, yeah. All right. Oh. It says, Irina Kolyana, wife. <gasps> Is, is there uh, someone in the alcove? Do I see a body or there's no body in empty? it? Yeah, there's it's there's nothing in it. Well, I'll not not lot, no bones, no dust. Uh, well, there's dust, uh, but not mm -hmm. like human remains kind of dust. Not nothing okay. like that. I'll relay this information to the party. Yeah. Yep. I wonder if there's brothers here then and we want to wake him up. The grave? Uh, Fig Jam, do you want to put her remains in that grave? It's for her. No. Well, she remembered the castle. Well, the first name is right, Irina, but her last name was not Kolyana. She say, oh. she shared the same name as the Burgermeister, which don't make me look it up, but it's not the same last name. <laughs> Irina Burgermeister. Oh, okay. Burgermeister son. Yeah. I mean, no, I'm not going to put her remains in there. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> not the at all. Like I mean, we, I suppose we could hide her remains in there. I mean, I don't have all of her remains as well. I've just got a few of the bones. Mm. Just in case they were, you know, magically delicious. <laughs> you grind them up and you put it in the porridge and find out. Well, I, <laughs> I meant useful as magical components yeah. or something. Possessed women who died by bats. Yeah, you know you're going to kick yourself in the butt years from now looking through the tome and it's like, one of the ingredients is... It's like, damn it! <laughs> So do we explore more of this area, or do we go back up? I mean, you wanted to go down. Now we know what's there. Yeah. Do you want to keep going down further, or do you want to look at these things? So let me uh, let me point some stuff out. So since you came to 18, um, some of the things that you're light, there is a door here, and there is a door here. Hmm. Okay. Let's explore these. Maybe okay. I'll I'll go to that one. Twenty-four. Okay, Twenty-four. Okay. Yeah. Um, it is a small room that has um, a slab in the middle of the room. There are a bunch of like the slab has got what look like drain channels on it uh, that are darkly stained. There's a bunch of tools on a small tabletop. It looks like this is a uh, where bodies are prepared for burial. All the soft bits that will go bad are pulled out, that sort of thing. 
and still dusty and yeah not seemingly okay. a little less Confused. dusty because it's a small room and the door was closed but i mean there is still dust everywhere it doesn't look like it's been used in a long time okay well well um around here i'll go to 30. all right you're gonna open or take a look at crypt 30. Oh, yeah. Yeah. okay yeah yeah Brave little dog. I have something stupid to do when you've got a moment. <laughs> I'm assuming you're moving the dirt on the uh, so you can read the engravings. This one is still sealed. It says Prefect Cyril Romulic, beloved of King Barov and Queen Raven, High Priest of the Most Holy Order. Holy. Last of the rest of a holy man. Yep, and this one's still sealed. Wow, I won't, I won't open it. Not without my friends. And what's in 25? Okay, what's everybody else doing while uh, Darby's wandering around the crypts? Uh, letting him. <laughs> uh, this crypt, St Stefan Grigorovic, first counselor to Baron von Zarovic, also sealed. I'm gonna look around to see if any of them are like empty, like that Irina's. See if any are open or empty. Okay. Uh, well, you need to tell me which direction you're going in. Let's say uh, left uh, or right. So go, Darby yeah, is up this way. on the opposite way. So he had already looked at 18. That one's got the coffin lid off a of place. So the first ones you're going to run to are 14 and 19. Mm -hmm. uh, the first ones that you see. And again, this is all very dark. You're just relying on the light from the brooch that you're wearing. Mm -hmm. uh, the first one, let's see. So Crypt 14 says... Stabal Indi Bach, advisor to Indorovic from Eastern lands, a truer friend no ruler ever had. Here lies his family in honor. Uh, it's closed. Hmm. It's also a, a, a rather large vault as well. Uh, the other one you run across is 19. Artemis, builder of the keep, thou standest amidst the monument to his life. Uh, also sealed. You said one was a vault? Fourteen. Oh, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Okay. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, first of all, I need a strength check to see if you can open the vault doors. Uh, um, I, I probably can't. So before I try, I'm gonna ask if I can get some help with it. Pardon me, I'm about to do a very dumb thing. Would you mind helping me? <laughs> hey, Darby. Darby, come oh, here. Yeah. <laughs> I found something. Oh, okay. Help me uh, I'm, this. I'm curious. I'm curious. Huh? I'll check. I'll check what AC found. Yeah, so I'm going to help him. Oh, okay. Huh. Okay, so you uh, do either of you have a strength bonus? No, nope. no, nope. both of you roll strength checks. Okay, and Darby, yes. okay, <laughs> you swing the vault doors open. Uh, in your side, you see there are 15 stone coffins with uh, heavy lids all lining uh, just five, five, five. Just, you know, it's this room just contains more coffins. Both of you make me save versus magic checks, please. Oh, I fail. I all succeed. Right. Uh, we have some rerolls. Do you want to use the rerolls or not, Darby? I'm not saying you have to. I'm just pointing out they're there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll take one. All right. Go ahead. Reroll your save. Alrighty, we're down to three. Okay. Yeah, I succeed. All right. 
Uh, so yeah, there you go. That's what you see. There are 15 uh, coffins all lined up, three rows of five. Okay. So. Uh, well, I was expecting piles of treasure, and I just go to shut the door. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, close the door. And it was which one was? was that was K fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah. Well, I'm still looking for that library. Mm -hmm. What do we see up up north? Sure, if you want to wander in that direction, I'll go ahead and uh, let's see here. It'll do that. That's more and more and more. Yeah. I'm going to follow Darby. So there's a door here, a door here, and a door here. Oh, and one right here. You found a brother. It is fine. <laughs> so, what is everybody else doing? I mean, uh, yeah. Uh, so I'm doing something stupid. So, so you're still standing gonna, at the top of the stair here. Yeah, I'm going to take a breath, run down the stairs, and go and try and look up here at the bottom of the base of that statue so I can see what the hell it is. And then come All right, back. so you plunge into the mist. Okay, Radnar, where are you? And what are you doing? Um, I was absent for about the last five minutes, so <laughs> I'm just kind of following along. Well, there are people figure out what we're doing there are people checking out tombs uh galen just went down these steps into the mists uh, i'm not sure what fig jam is doing oh if i mean if we're checking out these coffins or so you're with them crypt, so then that is what i am doing yeah right. i am specifically looking for the names on each of them until we find despised brother of <laughs> or whatever Brother who always beat me at Donkey Kong. Yeah, I'll assist, yeah. I'll assist with that. Check in the tunes. All right, so you go down to the mist, uh, Galen. Uh, first things first, make me a save versus Dragon Breath. <laughs> Ooh. I haven't done that before. Oops. Yeah, what's the. Do I get to find out what the. No, is before I reroll? no, no. <laughs> um, considering I did it to myself, it seems a bit of a waste on a reroll. Though <laughs> we've only got two of them at the moment. Okay. Because someone decided to blow all our roads in the rolls last time. <clears throat> so apparently, you trip sirens in the distance. Um, right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you fail. Uh, oh yep. well, that definitely hits. There's a javelin that comes out of Thunk. this corridor here, and yeah, it, it hits you real good. Uh, it is huge. The thing, uh, eight points of damage. The oh. this, the tip of it is a foot long, uh, followed by almost ten feet of pole behind it, and it, it just uh, center of mass right through you. And as you kind of trip around with this thing uh, bisecting you, you notice that there is. A glowing band of energy that goes from uh, floor to ceiling. Let me. Uh, the floor to ceiling uh, across this next set of stairs going down. Also, make me a save versus spell. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's not fun breathing in this mist. Like your lungs. I said, I hold my. I have yeah, my breath right down. Yeah. yeah, still, your eyes are burning a little bit, causing some tears yeah. coming down. The mist is violently, like, just very caustic. But yeah, yeah. holding your breath, I, you're okay. Given that I just got hit with a javelin, I'm getting out of there. Okay. Not, uh, so what I was saying javelins. is, with this huge javelin through you, you're kind of teetering here, and you're almost about to touch or pass through the shimmering line at the stair here. Um, you want me to do a dex check? I'll do make, a dex check. Make me a dex check. Yeah. Come on, fail. Come on, fail. Okay. Fire! What Woo! is your? Are you lawful or chaotic? Uh, chaotic. Okay. Um. You feel a little jolt of electricity as you pass it, but you you do pass it, and you kind of tumble down the steps into the bottom of the floor here in K88, and we'll leave it there for just a moment. 
Uh, of course, nobody yeah, knows that this has happened to you because no one was anywhere near you. <laughs> we didn't at all hear him screaming out. Ah! He's holding his no. breath. He didn't scream out. Oh, <laughs> yeah. He's got jam and by a pole. Does, yeah. He's made a sterner stuff than Fig Jam. That's all. I guess he is. Yep. There we go, Gable. Doomed by your own sternness. All right, so if you guys are just... If you're just checking the tombs going by, not really doing much else other than look like looking at what the names are in each tomb, um, there's a big door right there as well. Okay, so some of the interesting things on the tombs that you're passing here. Um, Mm Hmm. I bet we don't have a locksmith with us. Yeah, Crypt 20 is... I'm a locksmith. Says Sasha Iv- oh, right. Ivla- okay. Ivliskava. Ivliskava. Sasha Ivliskava, wife. That's in 20. Uh, 21. Oh, no, there's not 21 here. 15 and 16. Fifteen is interesting. It says Kazan, K H A Z A N, all in capital letters. His word was power. That was fifteen. Sixteen says Elsa Falona. I mean, it'd be really good if we knew what the name of this person was, so we knew what his brother's name might be. Yep. I don't even know that. So, might well. be something someone might have found in a library somewhere. Oh, who's maybe. who's to know? You know? Who's to yeah. know? Seventeen is a large crypt. Uh, the outside says Sir Cedric Spin- Spinoff Spinatovic, Admiral Spinatovic. Confused though he was, he built the greatest naval force ever assembled in a landlocked country. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Uh, 11, Tasha Petrovna, healer of kings, light unto the west, servant companion. And these are all still closed, unless I tell you otherwise. Uh, 10, Sir Lian Trisky, Sir Lee the Crusher. What sword did not, time's passage did. Uh, 9, Piddlewick, fool of Dorfinia. Buried a fool in the catacombs. Eight Duchess Dorfinia de Lisney. Uh, okay, seven is an interesting one. Seven, the door lies on the floor obscured by the fog. So you can just see a little bit of it sticking up from the fog. Uh, the crypt is wide open. There's rags of white linen lying flat uh, on the outside of the slab, kind of just draped over <laughs> Hmm. Got out. Oh. Yep. And uh, everybody roll me a d6 that's there. So uh, that'll be Radnar, Darby, Fig Jam, and a C. I got a wand. I got a wand. Um, yeah, one's good in this case. It's a chance to notice. So oh, the bit <laughs> of white linen that's flapping over the, the crypt... Uh, the open tomb, so you can't see what's in it quite yet. Uh, it is flapping, which is interesting, as you don't feel any wind currents in here at all. Have it. Can I poke it with my ten foot pole? Uh, okay, so you're you get ten feet close to it. You shove your pole in there. Um, your pole is grabbed by a hand that jumps up and, um, yeah, so right there we'll start initiative. So your pole is grabbed. (laughs) Don't grab my pole. Someone grab this pole. (laughs) Hal. So you initiated this Dion. So why don't you roll a D six for your side? Oh, simultaneous. All right, so a, uh, a spectral figure rises uh, with torn rags of linen all about it. The body looks desiccated. Parts of it you can see through. Parts of it seem to be solid. 
All right. All right. Rage so you guys goes. go ahead and tell me everything you guys want to do. It'll still get its turn before it expires if you happen to expire it. Uh, but yeah. So what do you guys want to do? I Sounds didn't like ask. A good thing to have a cleric against. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot it. Well, you've got one hand on a ten foot pole, which means you don't can have I, your bow out. Can I drop it and uh, then pull the bow out? Okay, so you're you weren't ready. Uh so Okay. Yeah, I'll let you go, but you'll go during melee. You won't get a shot off and um Okay. Yeah, and he's pretty things. proficient with that pole. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh so yeah, I'll let you go ahead and do it though. So you draw your bow, um roll a D eight. What's a two give me tonight? Uh, it looks normal. All right. Uh, short range, right? Short range, yeah. It's ten feet. Okay. Did I did I mark that? Yeah, I did. Okay. Boop. Uh, let's see, AC seven. So it misses. Uh, actually, it's it seems to hit the creature, but it hits it in one of the areas that were a little bit see through, and it just went right through it. It is a magical bow. Yeah. No, I know. That, okay. No. okay. You still miss Just the checking. AC. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, what's Fig Jam doing? I'm panicking. Okay. Really? Yeah. I, mean... <laughs> I, I think you got bonuses to that, right? <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I got nothing right now. I'm All right, yeah, sure you're just looking shocked. Just okay. Running around looking at names. Uh, so, Darby, what are you doing? Oh, I'll try to strike at it with my nice new sword. Mm -hmm. It is undead, so you'll get the bonuses for that. Okay. Let's go. Oh, that hits. Uh, and how much more damage from it being undead? It's you have plus three. So nine so points. Already, no, no, it's already... Uh, okay. It's already... Uh, there. That hurts it. Like the sword actually, uh, as it strikes the flesh of this creature, carving bits of it off, like it, it bursts into this bright sunlight, very dazzling that lights up the area for a moment as it slices through the creature. Creature still alive. Well, <laughs> has some semblance of life. Um, <laughs> good shot, Darby. Still moving, yeah. And what are you doing, Bill? What is Radnar the Large doing? Rednor the Large is trying to make himself small behind a coffin because I I want to save most of my magic for the big guy. All right. Sounds good. Yeah. Uh, so you also duck behind some things. So unfortunately, Dion, you are the closest thing to it. So it rises out of its coffin, seeming to get more solid as it does so, and just uh, rakes out at you. Let's see. It is a plus one. Okay, this oh, is no. not going to be fun. Oh, no. Uh-oh. <clears throat> okay. First of all, take eight points of damage. Ow. Are okay. you still standing? Yes, I'm at 11. Visibly before you guys, a sea skin starts to wrinkle and dry. His hair starts to turn streaks of oh, white. Shit. Lose two levels. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, Jesus. As, uh, yeah, you're being drained of your life. Okay. Does that do anything yeah. statistically to you me? You lose all the bonuses those levels gave you, including hit points, which might put you down at this point. Oh, I don't know. So how many okay. hit points do you have left right now? Uh, I have 11, 11 after the attack. Okay, so you're not down. Yeah, uh, your hit die type is a D6, right? D4. A D4. Oh, yeah, you're, you're not down then. Uh, yeah, you don't feel good. You don't feel good. Uh, so there, yeah, that was round. Uh, next round, anyone casting? You casters saw this happen as uh, a C uh, was. Uh, we to have to carry on and donated some bits to get uh, to keep us alive. <laughs> I'm gonna. Or maybe he wanted to bring the pain. I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah. So what is it, Captain? Are we bringing one. the pain? <laughs> or are we trying to help out? <laughs> I, mean, I don't know which way I would go, but that's me. <laughs> uh, I can always make more of these come out. <laughs> Captain's been good to us. Uh, I'm going to use, use my wand to ma or my ring of magic missiles. All right, all right. So bank we'll 300, 300 bits to use as you need. Uh, so if you need to to get some hit dice back there, you could, Dion, but you might want to hang off a, a minute. Uh, so um, magic going on, Bill. You are casting from your ring of magic missiles. 
Yes. All right. Any other magic going on? No. <laughs> Run! <laughs> okay. I'm not sure continual light will help in this instance, so yeah. All right. Uh, well, Bill, why don't you roll a d6 for your side? All right. Ah. Oh. All right. It goes first. Um, it's going to press its attack on a C and try to drain you into a husk. It misses. <laughs> All right, so Ooh. magic missile goes off. Go ahead and do me some damage. Okay, that's uh, is this three missiles or is this one missile? Uh, we're, we're just to make the math easier. We'll just have it cast at your level. All right. Um, fourteen points. Okay. Uh, that seemed to hurt it, but it's still up and functioning. Who wants next? Darby, you're right up there. And duck right back down. Okay. And duck right back down. Yeah. Yes. Puck is standing up. Yeah. Sniping. Okay. Armor class two. You hit it. <laughs> Eight points of damage. Oh, okay. So uh, again, well, actually, it's more than that, right? Eight, 11 points of damage. Uh, the sun sword cleaves through this creature again. Uh, you you kill it. What does that look like, Darby? Oh, well, I hit hit on in the shoulder like there and the sword passes through his, his chest right here okay all right well, so once you do that what is left of this creature just turns to dust uh, just quickly just seems to age and age until it's nothing but dust on the ground uh, leaving the coffin the crypt opened uh, a sea looks bad <laughs> i don't feel good feel like you uh, sucked the life out of me. Uh, I'll so rub in with, so with rub some honey. On you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. All right. I, okay, if you did not record how many hit points you gained for this last two levels, just roll 2d4, and that's how many you're going to lose. All right, five. so five more points off. Okay. So I'm at six. Okay. And reduce your maximum hit points by that many as well. So, like, you, you lose those five that you just rolled permanently. Okay. Just because I'm a helper. Do you have a con bonus? Uh, is that what I come off? I have a con bonus of one. Okay. That also yeah, that'll off. help. Yeah. Okay, so I'm at 20. Help? Three <laughs> well, and well, three. well, no, help in, as in, like, you're minus two more hit points permanently. <laughs> Oh. Instead of being five, <laughs> you're you're down seven permanently, oh, and you lose two okay. more. So you're okay. at four hit points. Happy okay. birthday! <laughs> well, I'm at no, I'm at three and nineteen max. Uh -huh. All right, all right. So we'll pause for a moment, and we will go back to Galen, uh, who's got this ten foot long this spear. Won't take much time, okay? Because yep. <laughs> if I'm out, then I'm dead. Yep. So you <laughs> fall down uh, into room eighty-eight. Um, mm -hmm. Currently, I have six. Of, just in case that it's that it's be. silent down here. There are great stained windows filling the eastern wall. Um, so is there mist? Is there yeah, mist? There, there is mist down here, but it's uh, it's like you it's like you ran through a barrier, and as you fell oh. down these stairs, there's very little. Like it stops up high on the steps and does not come down into the crypt room. Okay. There's a closed coffin. Um, on each side of this roughly 40 foot room. Okay, first step is the D8. Plug, plug, plug. Boink. Pull the chip on out and go. Uh, okay, yeah. pull the spear out of your body, get a little bit of uh, healing done. Yeah. All right, uh, as you do this, you feel a presence behind you. Uh, there is a, just a dim light uh, as you're finishing this and as you uh, wheel around. There's a, a shining man in white armor, a plate armor and a cape. He's got very rugged features, very square jaw, just black, deep black hair. He actually looks like a much healthier version of Strahd. 
And he just uh. kind of looks at you. Shout out for Captain Kirion again. Woo! Keeping <laughs> us alive. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> Captain is invested in you all getting out of this tomb, apparently. Um, so, yeah, it stares at you, but as you, you bring your, your gaze around to really try and uh, get a good look at him, it kind of the light kind of fades away and he's gone. Hmm. I'll try to turn the light away there just as if you were turned to the darkness. Yeah. Uh, no, no, doesn't appear to be so. Okay. Oh, look around, check out these coffins. Now that I'm actually down here, I'm not completely dead. Because so I thought I was off the whole was still. Yeah. Okay. No, it's not. So, it's fine. so you you find uh, the center uh, tomb has it's it's a Sergey von Zerovic, and underneath it has been like you could tell this was done in a different hand, very poorly was chiseled hated brother. <laughs> I believe the phrase is ding. Yep. <laughs> Uh, to his right, it simply says Irina on the tomb. Wait, hasn't her name been on a couple of these? It's the second one, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. This one's sealed. Irina's is oh. all... Well, they're both sealed. So they're, okay. they're all sealed. Let's crack them open, guys. Well, you're not down uh, here. Uh, this is just Galen. Here. Yeah, this is just Galen. Okay. Yeah, this is just me. Damn it, Jones. Hmm. Well, this seems useful. This seems very useful. Uh, no, I need some way of... I don't have to speak the end of the world. I don't have to bring back the life either. Um... What I'm going to do, because I'm a cleric, is using also the, because uh, I do have it with me, the um, holy symbol from the above. Offer up a prayer to my gods in regards to helping what this guy's name, which is on the thing, because I had all the short term memories. Sure. Today. So you're, are, do you still have bless? Or are you out? Are you tapped? I'm out. Okay. Well, uh, roll me D percentage and tell me high or low. Uh, high. Nice. All right. I'll get back I'm to you in a moment. I'm not in touch with the gods. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. <laughs> so uh, back up at the uh, <laughs> the now empty crypt. Uh, is anyone taking a look into it or getting closer to it? Yeah, I'm looking. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to look. I might as well. All right. Just kind of hobble in a bit, holding against the wall, like, oh my god. Okay. <laughs> so you get close enough uh, that you can read the epitaph now. It's Indorovic, and then Indorovic the Terrible. What the blood of a thousand slaves did not do, the spurn of a woman, a woman accomplished. Uh, so inside is, you know, other than the dust that uh, newly formed here from the slain specter, there's some rotting leather bags underneath a linen cloth. Uh, you see the glint of gold within the bags. Jazz knifes you all and takes the gold. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> He's not even here and he does that. I like it. Yeah, I'll pick up the gold. It's a lot of gold. Uh, there were three leather bags that are rotting, so you'll need to put them in something else. But there are thousands of pieces of gold here. Oh. Yeah. So inventory purposes is three thousand four hundred gold pieces. Oh wow. wow! Well, my backpack is full. I can carry some. Okay. Uh, and about this time, yeah, you guys have noticed that it's been uh, Galen has been missing now for some time. Who's carrying the sand glass? I was. All right. You've got like 20 minutes left. Hmm. Okay. Let's, let's find Galen. Agreed. 
Yeah, yeah. So the last time you saw Galen was at the top of the stairs that were going down. Okay. I'll go uh, up the stairs and shout, Galen! Okay. Uh, you hear that echoing. That's from far away, Galen, as you're saying your prayer. So as you say the prayer, the ghostly image comes back. It seems to step out of the crypt bearing his name. And then out of the other crypt steps another uh, figure. It looks very much um, like Irene, uh, the Burgermeister's daughter, except older. Like the Irene that you came here with was, you know, maybe 20 uh, late teens, early twenties. This woman is more matronly. She looks like she's in her, you know, early thirties or so, uh, matches him. He also looks like he's in his thirties or so, but the facial characteristics are just extremely similar. I'm not going to answer if I'm in the middle of, uh, praying. Yep. Um, if I can somehow channel the one energy into them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, unfortunately, without any spells to help uh, do this sort of thing, and you being so uh, one far... spell I have is whole person that's not going to help. Yeah, uh, <laughs> so you're very far from your goddess, but e praying uh, seems to cause them to uh, like the facial features kind of soften a bit. They both kind of kneel uh, and join your prayer. Um, when you stop, though, they'll fade away. Oh. So I'm um, gonna get the guy to come back in a couple of hours when I have a chance to get my best my own mission. I need sleep because I'm not healed up. So uh, just like, give me a chance to heal up and then. <laughs> in specific, they kneeled towards the holy symbol uh, that you had brought out, not yeah. yours, but the other one, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That was the one I was using. All right, right. So uh, you you hear above you Darby kind of calling down like, "Please answer! I don't want to come down." <laughs> Down here. <laughs> oh. Do you want us to come down? I found the brother. He seems to be a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, I'll go down. Watch out for the javelin. <laughs> So you take one step down and he yells out, watch out for the javelin. <laughs> yeah, the um, top part seems to be uh, trapped, booby trapped, but the uh, bottom part's fine. Um, okay. I can do something with that, can I? Um... Can you? You know it's there, but it's a lot of mist. So. If I find remove trap. Yeah, you'll I... have to go down into the mist, though. Um, like mm. There doesn't seem to be anything on these first few steps that are part of any kind of trap. You'll have to go down further into the mist. All right, I'm going to cover my face up mm -hmm. and uh, go in and try and do that. All right, yeah. make me a save versus spell. Okay. I gotta figure out. I think that changes. With yeah, because you're levels, two levels right? lower, right? If you just change the level on your character sheet, that should fix it. Does it? I, I'm yeah. not actually sure. Yeah, it does for a lot of things. Yeah. Uh, by doing that, I can just quickly check the thief and see if that's actually different. Uh, I don't think it did. Okay. Well, just go ahead and roll it. We'll, we'll be able to figure it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it does uh, change. It's now only 25 at level four. Oh, it didn't change mine. That's weird. Um, okay. Uh, where's the button? Spell. Go. Go. <clears throat> nope. Okay. Uh, even with your face covered, uh, your eyes start streaming from the irritation, and you can't help but take a breath in, and it's like your lungs are on fire. Like, you drop to your knees and are having a really hard time breathing. Mm. Uh, do you want to keep pushing on, or no? Uh... <clears throat> Uh, yeah, um, no, I'm going to back out. I'm okay. not in good shape. Yeah. I'm going to back out and be like, I can't go on, guys. <laughs> okay. I mean, are you still under the um, mist there, or does it disappear when you go down a certain depth? No, there's like a, a, a doorway that you come through, and there's no mist. Well, there's not much mist on the side. 
Okay, I'll try to do the same and All right. cover Don't my face. Push and it down the stairs. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> down the stairs. Uh, make me a save versus spell, Darby. Being a dwarf, you are robust. You still fail. Same thing. Uh, you, like you can't help but have some of it go up into your nose, and it's it's just so irritating that you you gasp and it goes into your lungs and it burns. You can push forward if you want. Um, yeah, I'll push forward. All right. Take oh, two I'm points dying. of damage, uh, just as your lungs <laughs> burn as you go down. Now make me a save versus dragon breath. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, you're a dwarf. You can take it. Wow. Oh my! Yeah, my saves. Do you want to use a reroll or do you want to? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're fifty-fifty. That's a much better chance than what All right. So. Yeah. All right. So you hear uh, the sound of a, a latch being dropped and a twang, and you don't see it, but just instinctively you hit the ground and you feel the air disrupted. Uh, you know, a couple of feet up from your back as uh, something just hurls through the smoke and you hear it clang on the other side of the corridor. Okay. So um, you're on this landing now. You're on the landing at K87. Surrounded by mist. Yeah, you're still in the mist and you can hear Galen below you. Okay, uh, I run. Okay. I run, I run towards yeah, you. Now, this right. will be interesting. Uh, Another two points of damage. Uh, what is your... Uh, are you lawful or chaotic? I know Darby yeah, is true. mostly good bent, but are yeah. you? You're lawful. lawful. You're lawful. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you push through uh, this kind of glowing membrane, which uh, you just tingles just a little bit, and you step through it, and you're you're out of the fog, and you see Galen uh, just kneeling here. There's still a little bit of the fog, about ankle level, but not much past that. Nice. And in the room is what do i see uh there are three coffins uh so galen the the figures only came out of two of them the third one you didn't see anything and nor is there any kind of plaque on it uh and then you see these stained glass windows as well these okay. yeah uh, i believe it was doors what are they stained glass of um one Ooh, is you know, you're not, it's really difficult to tell. They're mostly just brightly colored pieces of glass. But like if you stand away a little bit, you start to make out that it's some kind of a scene. Uh, it looks like what the one on the far left is like a hunting scene, something that looks like an elk and looks like a party of people that are hunting. The middle one looks like a man and a woman uh, clasping hands in front of a large building. Uh, with a lot of sunlight around it. And again, this they're very vague impressions. They are not clearly anything. But the further back you stand, the more it seems to be something. And the one on the le uh, the far right is a sun and a moon uh, with the with the the moon being uh, lit in kind of a silver and the sun being kind of a gold and kind of in between them is uh, what looks like a serpent or a dragon. <clears throat> What was the brother's okay. name again? I've, kept, I've forgotten the tour. Voltec or something? Let me get to it again. <laughs> Sergey von Zerovic. Sergey. Right. I'm guessing Sergey and Irina are actually in love, and Strad was like, "Ooh, I want her." No. Oh, hi, Darby. All right, so Darby's hey. down there. A C and the rest yes. of you guys are still up top with a C, like having some serious lung issues, <laughs> coughing and With hacking. Sergey and Irina. <laughs> uh, yeah, they, once you stop chanting, they they faded away. So the, yeah. the those figures aren't there when Darby comes down. Yeah, well, I'm interested in yeah. the tombs. Yeah. actually people. Yeah. And then there's the third uh, tomb, which uh, if you're looking at it, like there's no, the name plaque has been torn away. There's nothing there. Hmm. 
Oh, it's probably his original one, isn't it? Maybe. Is it open? No, it's sealed. It's sealed. Uh, if you want to give me a D6, though. Five. Yeah. Uh, nothing you particularly notice. Seems to be sealed just fine. So back up at the top, uh, Radnar and Fig Jam and a C. Um, you guys can hear Galen and Darby talking below, so it must be safe further below. I think you can hear them oh, talking. Oh, if it's safe, we should go join them. It'll be fine. I don't think I can make it past that mist. I literally feel like I'm about to fall over. Now remember, there's uh, there's there's points on the board there. If you want to take uh, some to make a, a hit die roll, you can roll hit die back. Mm. Well, I have one uh, more honey potion. So, well, provided you didn't take it out there. I had two in total. You, you want to rub it. that one on me? <laughs> hundred gold a pop. <laughs> you know. Hundred gold. There we go again. All right, I'm gonna use that honey. It's a D8. You D8. said. D8. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> re-roll, re-roll. Yeah, re-roll, okay. I'm going to re-roll it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to re-roll it. Make sure you keep track of using the re-rolls, please. 100 gold to rub the honey there fake. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Honey uh, go, 100 gold to roll, rub the honey on him. Uh, another 100, <laughs> and I'll cast haste on him first. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to try and push through that fog again. Uh, okay. Uh, just make me a con check. Con? All yeah. right. Boop. Boop. Okay. Oh. You get to the landing. Uh, luckily for you, there were only two javelins. <laughs> all right. So uh, you make it through the first part. All right. Boost. Now make me another con roll to get for the rest of the way down. This is basically just you know what to expect, so you're holding your breath as well as you can. Yeah. So you make it all the way down. You manage to hold your breath the whole way. Yeah. You know, Bert, I'm feeling attacked. <laughs> <laughs> Are you now? Are you? <laughs> Get your cardio in. Come on. <laughs> right. Are you going to push down too, or are you going to stay up here then? I'll go. I'll, I'll go down. <laughs> All right. Might as well. All right. Uh, well, first, make me a save versus spell. This is the first time you're entering it fully. All right. No problem. And then just make me one con check. I mean, no, like your no, eyes are burning. Fine. What's that? It's like this is fine, guys. I feel yeah. all right. Your eyes are burning a little bit, um, but yeah, that's about it. You, know, you make it to the bottom. It's like a bad allergy season for you. <laughs> so Fig Jam's all alone. All alone well, in the I trips. Was just waiting. I was just waiting. I mean, I know what I'm doing to get down those steps. Okay. I'm going to back up a little bit and then just run. And then going to go like two or three steps down and then just jump. So I am getting Ooh. past that stuff no matter whether I yeah. pass out on mid-flight or not. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I tell you what, make me just a dex check to see if you can get safely down by jumping yeah, over the stairs. Yeah, I don't care whether I get safely down or not, so long as yeah. I'm down. <laughs> I won't even uh, make you run the con. I won't even make you do the con because you're doing this very quickly. Hiya! Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh right. Superhero landing as I go there. He, he does this little parkour right. move. Yeah, so we have Fig Jam doing parkour on the stairs and lands in the superhero pose. <laughs> you can need that just to not land stupidly on the stairs. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so, well, yeah, you're all down That's here how now. you do it. <laughs> so do everybody. Through the barrier. Uh, so uh, your sand glass says 10 minutes. Uh, well, wow. okay. I want if yeah. Uh, when I was here before, I this is, seems to be the brother, and I prayed to him, and that seemed to bring him about somewhat. But I wasn't fully able to. I'm wondering if all of us together, if I let us in a mess, pray might be enough to bring them about. I have no idea if it's going to work, but it's. I think I've got because I don't have any misspells. <laughs> I mean, 
Anybody got any better ideas? And I'm excited to be a part of this. Let's go. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, yeah, all right. So again, you don't have the spell. So uh, just tell me high or low. Roll a D percentage. Hi. I'm going to be spending um, rerolls on this just so you know to get there. So it's just matter of how many rerolls we end up using. Well, yeah, we'll see. One, oh, not so, even one, not even one. And uh, again, it seems to be the fact that you're bringing out that holy symbol and uh, you know beseeching to a god that at least is partial uh, to the same alignment. And so they step out again from their crypts. Um, this time, hand in hand, as they look over everybody, they're they're very ghostly. They're very faint. And again, all of you see the in the shape of this man's face. It looks very much like Strahd, but much healthier, more square of jaw, more regal in in aspect. And then it's uncanny how much this lady represents uh, this younger Irina, although she's she's much older, more matronly. I'm gonna have uh, the sun holy symbol that I have out too during mm -hmm. this. I'm just kind of, I don't know. I think it helps. <laughs> I nudge Darby and indicate your sword. I don't know whether it's anything to do, but the power came out of the holy place there, so. Oh, yeah. you know. Let's check the. What does the uh, thing do? Da, 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 da. I'll present them the sword. Oh, you present the sword. Okay. Uh, nice. The man comes forward. Um, and he hovers his hand over it, but you see his hand is like ghostly and it's very transparent. It doesn't look like it's able to affect anything physical, but he lays his hand on the pommel of the sword. It passes through it mostly, but his form seems to gain a little bit of intensity, a little bit more light, as does Irina's. And he says, uh, my name is Sergei von Zerovic. He turns to the woman, Tatiana. And just kind of uh, bows to her, and she kind of looks at you all and bows. <clears throat> all right, so uh, he's coming in, like, less than ten minutes, so how do we stop him? Because we're going to die. <laughs> I believe he's your brother. Yes. Uh, yeah, he, he looks over at the third crypt. He says he is amongst us now. He is restlessly within his crypt. I, we can do nothing to affect the outcome of this as we are no longer mortal and he has yet one foot in the mortal realm. So he's in that thing? All right. Can we... What What can we do? Just pull it off and stab him while he's in there? All right. Let's do it. We only got a couple of minutes. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm going to take a leak on him when they pull up. <laughs> <laughs> Holy this, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Bless his penis. Uh, well, uh, he doesn't say anything. Um, but uh, if you guys want to do that, are you still kneeling there, Darby? Yeah. Okay. Well, as you see, like, again, he can't touch the sword. But as he comes away from the sword, you see, like, a ghostly image of the sword come back up into his hand. And he kind of, he sheaths it in the uh, empty scabbard that's on his hip. Okay. Yep. So uh, the sun, the sword that you have still glows a little less than it did before, but it still glows a little. Who's going to try and move this slab of stone? <laughs> I'll, I'll... I'm busy chanting right this minute, so I can't. Somebody yeah. want to help me with it? I mean, I've got yeah. a 16 strength, so I might as well help. I'll try to help. I don't have right. any strength, but... <laughs> I mean, yeah, we can all do something. Yeah. Well, if everybody does, you're able to slide open the top of the crypt. Uh, inside is, um, <clears throat> well, the body of Strahd, uh, perfectly preserved. Again, it looks so very similar to Sergei's. Um, his eyes are open and they're blood red. You can see uh, Fang's coming out of the top of his lip just a little bit. Uh, he's not moving. You don't see, like, the moving of breath in his chest, but his eyes are open and he seems to be staring at you all. How much time do we have left? Uh, a few minutes. minutes. <laughs> Stab him. Stab him with the sword of Darby. sunlightiness. Yeah. Get him with the sword. Just coup de grace. I'm going to take a leak on him real quick first. <laughs> <laughs> 
Golden shower strad to death. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know if that's something I can do as well. But I've been drinking holy water all day, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be nice. Oh, oh, yeah, man. Well, no, because I'd have to wait for it to like go through my system. I can't just drink Do we still have any of that holy yeah. oil? I think I've got some holy oil, oil yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll take that out. We can use that when we uh, stab him, I guess. Okay, I'll do that. So, so I'll, I'll give everybody off. one action for free. All right. I'm just going to go down the list here. Richard, what is Fig Jam going to do? Um, I guess Fig Jam has some holy water, so he can... Yeah, I've got one vial left, so I can just, yeah, sprinkle it all over him. Even his script. Okay. Uh, what um, is a C doing? Uh, I have the holy sun symbol. Okay. And it's not blessed. Well, there's the biggest the black one. <laughs> I don't really know. Yeah, I don't really know what to do. I don't have anything. I'm out of holy water and stuff. So I'm going to take that and I'm just going to put it on his forehead. Okay. Just, just, <laughs> like, take that. Uh, all right. And uh, what is Galen doing, Jameis? Uh, this uh, holy emulet. <laughs> So it's not even it's quite bigger than that. Well, the point is, please with the radiance of sun for 1d10 rounds when presented. I present. Okay. <laughs> All right. So the crypt is filled with this glorious light of the sun. Uh, immediately, yeah. the fog is, it's just burned away like fog does as the sun comes out in the morning. Uh, it still roils above on the steps yeah. high up but this like the crypt oh. area is completely lit up with sunlight you see these stained glass windows kind of uh just are just blazing with colors as well that kind of fill the area and uh darby what are you doing yeah i'll stab strad with the sword right okay, in the okay. uh bill you're urinating <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> so we're all doing something you know all right Richard, roll me a d6. Uh, Darby, make me an attack roll. Well, just roll me damage for the sword. You don't need to roll an attack roll. Uh, Galen, your thing does what it does. Let me just see what we're going to acquire here for damage. So, yeah. How much damage do you get for peeing on him? And I help. <laughs> you help pee on him? <laughs> no. I like it. I don't gotta go. I, I kind of wet myself earlier when the life got sucked out of me. <laughs> okay. Uh, so as you guys all do this, uh, the various uh, indignities that are visited upon him <laughs> causes him, his eyes flutter. Uh, the pupils seem to take in all of you and his mouth opens to scream from the damage that's done and the sunlight that's uh, starting to burn his skin and he bursts into smoke and the smoke just hurls vomits almost out of the tomb and uh it starts hurling itself up the stairs uh however sergey stands at the stair he's drawn out his uh version mm -hmm. of the sun sword and he attacks oh, yeah. the smoke hell yeah <clears throat> does he count as someone you yeah, know he does he's losing their life so he counts as someone we can screen rerolls on for example <laughs> reroll <laughs> so that he went towards the stairs, which is kind of far away from us, right? Yeah, it yeah. Uh, yeah, did this is the smoke just started billowing up the stairs, but then Sergey is there to meet him, him. and uh, he fireball. swings is, is fireball the sword. Gonna... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. he gets his turn. It fits me. <laughs> so he swings the sword, which carves just you know, carves the smoke in two, and uh, it, like a physical thing, the smoke drops to the ground. Uh, reforms into bloody bits of meat that start to knit themselves back together. And then he stands with the sword, you know, pommel and hand sword down, and he looks to the rest of you, Sergei looks to the rest of you and says, I can keep him from leaving. I cannot affect his mortal form. Lightning um, bolt. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, you've got a round while he knits himself back together. Lightning bolt. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Do me some damage. All there right. is one very particular thing I might be able to do, but unfortunately it relies on knowledge about vampires. Which what is this? Well, presenting the symbol head. seems to be doing him harm. Like his skin is yeah. blistering in the light. But you no, have it's to... just that I, the, the symbol also heals 3d6 plus 3 times per day. So I'm wondering if the healing on an undead creature... Ooh. 
No, it does its own damage to the undead creature, but uh, that is yeah. a good point, though. If you want to meet out some healing to people, you can do that. Um, lightning yes. bolt is 66. <laughs> yep, go for it. Okay. Um, 29. 29 points. Wow. All right. Um, I'm going to say you hit the general area where like all this fleshy bits are starting to knit back together and it, it hits, it explodes. And then like the bits are just splattered everywhere. Um, and you see that it slowly every, each little bit kind of evaporates into smoke and forms a bat. So now there are hundreds of little bats that are forming. Uh, they seem to be very slow moving and getting their bearings. Are they like little miniature bats? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. God, how many tricks does this guy have? Yeah. All on us. <laughs> Can I knock an arrow but not attack this round while I wait yeah. and see what happens? So I'll roll the D8 <laughs> now. Or... Yeah, go ahead. All right. Okay. Well, um, four. Okay, it looks like a normal arrow. Okay. <clears throat> um, if I do do the healing. Can I distribute that yes. around, or is it yeah, just one? Yeah, wherever okay. you want. Yep. 3d6 plus 3. I'll roll it, because we could do with healing. You can only heal up to 8 right now. Let's see what we I get. don't know what you're talking about. I look kind of injured. <laughs> <laughs> uh, unless we want to blow a reroll, I have 13 points to distribute. Who's hurt, other than me? I am. Wow. Uh, Darby, are you hurt? Uh, I'm down to 15. I still have. It's more than I've got. Yeah, I got. Take do we, this. Take do we want to do a reroll for that and see if we can get higher and heal Darby up? He's the one with the damage dealer. Uh, I can if you want. But it's a reroll just... the whole thing. It's not just the two, it's just the whole thing. Right, right. I don't know. And you, you, you roll 3d6? And yeah. you got 14? Oh, no. 13. 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, Okay, I'm good with that. Great. Um, uh, if you're so gonna... what are we doing? So that's why I did this round. What are you guys doing? Yeah, you get a you get around as the bats are still like slowly coming around and are kind of sluggish. Is it fireball time, guys? <laughs> well, you did lightning. Bolt. Do it. Do it. Do it. All right. Yeah. Fireball. Well, you, you did you, lightning, you did lightning bolt, bolt. bolt. Everyone else needs to do other things oh, first. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So Possibly keep away from the fireball. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm down. Red Nose down. I see he's down. Fig so, yeah, it's me and Darby. Yep. Yeah. Is he still knitting together with me? Yeah. In no, no, all the bits, all the bits are turning into bats. Bats. So the, but are they coming together somewhere to form into a? No. No, it just looks like they're going to flock and possibly fly away, perhaps. Uh, hard to tell. They're still, like, really dazed and uh, haven't started flying about yet. Can I throw oil at them? Uh, holy oil? Regular oil? What? Oh, uh, regular oil. Okay, you want to light it and make a little oil bomb? Sure. Yeah. All right, yeah, just make me a, a melee and a, a missile attack roll just to see if you get into a good portion of them. Okay. Yeah, I agree with that. I see. Okay, uh, several of them burst into fire in this uh, <clears throat> oil slick that you light, and uh, so yeah, they burn and they don't seem to reform. Uh, there are still others around, though. So okay. uh, I think that's the round to see is pulled an arrow and his arrow. Yeah, what do you I want don't to do? Ah, uh, all right. I, I guess I. Get out the magical staff that I have. The one, the only. 
and swing it around wildly at the bats. I mean, that's sure. all I got. Yep, make me a melee attack roll. Are you too close for the fireball? Are you getting in for a melee? Yeah, I, I get that. I will run a... Oh, magic goes off at the start of the round, doesn't it? Yep. Mm-hmm. Then I guess I don't do that then. I get out the staff and I'm ready. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so next round then, uh, since Fireball wants to be unleashed here, Bill, why don't you roll a d6 for your side? Come on, six. All right. Come on, six. Come on, six. Hey! Yes! Hey! Yes! Hey, Come hey. on, six, Bert. Right. You guys go first. <laughs> Fireball. Fireball. <sighs> All right. Looks like wow. Sixteen. A good well, Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Ooh, okay. Well. Uh, all the bats uh, just seem to disintegrate in the flames. The spirit is still standing at the stairwell. The flames just pass through him. It does burn away some of the fog. <clears throat> but there's. Yeah. No, the, all the bats are gone. Uh, the flames continue to burn with the oil, but otherwise, uh, it everything's silent. I'm gonna um, keep an eye out. <laughs> yeah, just, we're all just, sort of going. What happened? What happened? Yeah, like, I'm just gonna start waving the magical stick around, just in case you know he's turned invisible or something and he's creeping up on someone. <laughs> Just gonna wildly throw it around. Stand the, stand the, stand, stand the crypt where he is. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, uh, as you know, everything's quiet for a while. Um, Sergey and uh, the woman uh, seem to glow brighter, and they come together at the stairs, uh, hand in hand. They look at you, and you notice that the middle stained glass windows is kind of. It seems to shine. The stained glass seems to go away, and it looks like a portal. And you can see outside into the grounds, and you can see two rows just going off as far as you can see of spirits just standing, swords outstretched, creating like a an arcway between the two. These are the spirits you saw leave the tombs back in the town. Okay. And um, Sergey and Irina approach the portal. Irina turns to you and says, uh, you knew me as Irina in this life. But my past life, I was Sergei's beloved Tatiana. Through these many centuries, we've played out this tragedy of our lives. Now, with our deepest gratitude to you, that tragedy is over. It's time for joy to begin again. And they both bow deeply to you. And they walk through this portal and down the path between the spirits. And as they pass each spirit, the spirits turn. They bow to you and then dissipate. As, uh, just go, as they go down the line and you see the sun rising <clears throat> and they're heading towards the sun and that's it <laughs> you guys have defeated uh, yeah but uh, now now how do we get home <laughs> yeah <laughs> you find yourself uh in the hey, deepest know, crypt the of castle. Broad's castle uh you don't seem to be any ruby slippers on your shoes to uh, to click to get home you don't see well, we haven't searched the whole place yet <laughs> yeah. so maybe there's a closet is full that, of ruby slippers is that window still a portal uh it is not no oh. as the sun begins to rise now the the sunlight just comes through the stained glass window uh all the fog is gone your, you thought your friend to look after oh the fog is gone so that's good yep Got to always live here. And I don't mean in the crypt, I mean upstairs. Uh, and then uh, as you guys are discussing, you hear uh, some steps uh, or some footsteps coming down the stairs. <clears throat> and oh, uh, it's the butler. Hi, butler. <laughs> uh, Cletus is coming down. Yeah. He seems to be dressed in, uh, in uh, a stage coachman's regalia. He is dusting off a top hat as he comes down. And he says, well, as my master has left, if you would kindly leave the sword here in his brother's tomb, we can get you home. Did you like the rat? It was delicious, wasn't it? It, it was surprisingly good, actually, Cletus. Thank you. Um, what are you going to do now? Oh, I don't know. I mean, there are so many things to do in this castle and someone has to look after it. Why don't you come with us and, you know, travel along? Oh, no, no, I couldn't do that. I mean, what are the rats like in your realm? Not as good as they are here, I'm sure. 
Oh. Oh, could do something. There's a horse sure? in the stable if you need to go into town or anything. Are you sure? Is there any treasure here that we could have a piece of for our <laughs> suffering? I mean, I almost died. <laughs> well, how very mercenary of you. I mean, the place is filled with treasures, but uh, many traps as well. I am sure that if you would like to look about, perhaps you can find a bit more. But I must say that Strahd isn't the only creature of the night that lives here. Mm, good point. Abby, what are you doing? Is, I'm leaving the sword. You. Yeah, yeah, I'm leaving the sword uh, to to oh uh, um Cle how do, how do you call the the guy the name what's his name? Cletus. I, I you it. said it right, Cletus. Okay. There's probably even a recess on the crypt of um, Sergo that you can probably put the sword onto it. So that's the, that's the yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'll put the sword on the. Um, Strad Tom. Mm -hmm. No, not Strads. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I live again. He <laughs> left. <laughs> you were working for a wall along. <laughs> Jazz Band was trying to save us from you. <laughs> well, I'll put the sword uh, on the floor. And, well, taking the couch. Taking the well, I, uh, I suppose if you are ready to go, uh, a bit of renumeration is probably in order. And I know, I know one safe storeroom. Uh, if you would follow me, please. Hmm. I will be very grateful to redistribute that. Oh, no, wrong character. <laughs> okay. Oh. Um, he goes over to Crypt 21. Um hmm. He pulls out, um, it's, it's kind of a shoddy mace. It's got a big orb-like end on it. Looks like it's made of stone and like a, a small half. He says, if you would kindly open the lid, please. It's going to be wacko. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. All right, open it. Push it aside cool. if we can. All right. Push it aside. And for just a moment, you see uh, uh, an elven face uh, with teeth coming out uh just very pale uh very beautiful though and as she's about to get out of the crypt plead it's just none of that <laughs> just beats her head in <laughs> splatters it on the inside of the crypt as I said, <laughs> yeah. one of his previous brides that uh he fell out of uh, <laughs> love with i suppose you did take what you want there should be plenty in there this chair's gone. Oh, he's over there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's already gone. He, he took he took all the stuff and left. Yep. Uh, yeah, so there are several bags worth of coins and jewelry. Uh, lots of jewelry. Make a note of it, please. Party person. All right. So just for inventory purposes, 500 platinum pieces. Nice. 3,300. Yep. <laughs> yep. 3,300 gold pieces. I'm moving. Okay. And 5,300 electrum pieces. And this is the value of the jewelry. So that's how much experience you will get. How much you will actually get is depending on how much you can resell it for, of course. But that's experience value. Hey, uh, Cletus, uh, we got attacked by an undead beastie earlier, and it kind of, like, sucked the life out of me. Do you know any way to fix that yeah, well i mean if you paid for the service and you enjoyed it i mean it's hardly seeming that you should uh you know <laughs> no not that kind of no <laughs> no it was non-consensual yeah. <laughs> i'm afraid not i'm afraid not these 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 hungry creatures of our life they are uh, they tend okay. to uh, to remove a bit of your essence uh Okay. No worries. You're you're a you're a young person. You'll you'll be able to uh, get that back at some point. I'm sure. I, I would wash that wound though. Infection and all. Who knows what? Yeah. I mean, if we find a, if we get back home and find a higher level cleric, we might be able to get you restored or something. Mm. I just wasn't sh sure if mechanically if it was like legit permanent. It's, or it's, if it's permanent. Something. It is a permanent okay. thing. Yeah. yeah. So does that uh, like just yeah, put my exp to the base of level four? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Well, no, no, no. You're at the you're at the you're one 
point away from the next level. So it, it drains oh. you to, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. So you're, good, but you're best going to get a couple of levels anyway if we manage to spend the cash. So. Yep. Yeah. Um, story-wise, this isn't something good to do in point of view of helping our party and stuff, but story-wise, kind of can you pass this on to the priest in Baragofia, bloody town name Barovia, yeah. and I, Barovia, and I pass some the holy symbol. Relic. Oh, I, if you don't mind, we could make a stop, but I'd rather not touch that. Okay, yes, no, yeah, I'd like to <laughs> pass that on. <laughs> yep. Uh, so unless you guys want to try and loot the castle, which he does say has other dangers, uh, he will direct you uh, to the courtyard where there is a fine carriage waiting. Um, what yes. is that? It's, it's making noises. It's reversing. <laughs> yes, yes. It's a, it's a mechanical steed that seems to be binging at you. Um, <laughs> Stop it. And they, uh... <laughs> see, that's Strahd taking offense to being urinated on from the grave. That's that's exactly what that is. So Cletus will take you to uh, Barovia in the carriage to uh, inform Ilanya's uh, uh, brother about her passing, if you wish. Uh, also, I do have some bones. Yeah, also to no. drop off the holy symbol. Oh, those are fig jams. <laughs> one day, yeah. one day he's going to come across a spell that needs that as a component. Maybe, yeah. I mean, magical, re uh, what is it? Reincarnation woman boat. I mean, they've got to be worth a fortune or something. <laughs> right. Um, Same soul again and again. And once you're ready, uh, Cletus takes you on the carriage and drives along. Yeah, well, I give the holy relic to the priest. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's it was actually uh, uh, meant for this church long ago. It was taken, and there was a place mm. for it to go back. But Cletus takes you in the carriage for a long ride up that long road, and you, the mists uh, start to swirl about again. Whoever has the pendant, uh, it becomes uh, very hot, begins to glow, and you guys find yourselves. Uh, in Penhalgian, once again, right outside of the inn that this all started in, where the man kind of stopped out of the fog, and <laughs> you you step out at the same place. The portal lasts just long enough where you can see Cletus wave goodbye as he takes the carriage back to the lands of Barovia. And with that, you are out of Ravenloft. <laughs> so everybody picked up all the gold and the jewelry and that and picked up all of this stuff. Did anybody remember to pick up Jasmine? <laughs> Leave him behind. Yeah, we got him. <laughs> oh, okay, and get spit out. And keep your trash. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> keep your trash. Jasmine's kicked out. <laughs> yep. All right, guys. So uh, we'll uh, we'll end uh, we'll end that there. You've gotten out of uh, Barovia. You actually, guys, had done significant damage to him in the first encounter. That that's why that was all possible at the end. He just didn't have the strength to reform again somewhere else. So mm. there you go. Yeah. 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 Not bad. Not bad at all. And you only lost two levels from one character. No one died. Not bad. Nothing of significance was lost. Yeah. So the module itself, and again, this is the first edition D&D &D module of Ravenloft. Uh, Strahd in himself is a pretty tough opponent. He's a 10th level magic user as well as being a vampire. But the thing is, if you don't spend a lot of time poking around and uh, getting into a lot of fights you don't need to, it's totally a winnable fight. Um, but the more that you are cut down by opening these crypts and exploring around uh, because you don't get a chance to rest. I mean, this all is going to happen over the course of the night. So you, there's not a, there's not a point where you can get back spells, for instance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the best okay. course is to get him fast, which you guys did. Amazingly, you just went right to the location that he was sure to be at the start and didn't have to screw around a lot. So that, that in itself caused it to <laughs> be a winnable thing. <laughs> But yeah, congratulations, guys. And yes, the, the place is teeming with a lot of treasure and a lot of other things you could have done. Uh, but getting out alive and getting out with a crap ton of gold is uh, is a good win in my book. <laughs> I like it. Cool. Yeah. 
All right, guys, uh, well, we'll cut it there for the night then. Uh, so let's just go do our outs here. Richard, you got anything you want to plug? Um, yes, sure. Hi, I'm Richard, and you can see me on LMTDTMFFR, or say it with me now, limited time offer, no vowels, where I will play video games for your entertainment. Just you. <laughs> just, just the one person Seven he made on the audience play. size. No, that's quite true. <laughs> <laughs> The one person he made eye contact with, you, right there. Dion, you got anything you want to plug? Um, Substance is used on Twitch. You can find me on my channel playing games. Uh, and I do tabletop on other people's channels, like the beautiful Bert on Tuesdays and Fridays. I'm on Friendin's channel doing months of the week on Thursdays. And on Saturdays, tomorrow, you can catch me on Fulsham underscore arts channel doing some 5th edition D&D. Nice. Jameis. No, but apparently everyone else is streaming and stuff. I'm just playing games on my own computer at my own time. <laughs> Being greedy and not sharing those screens with everyone else. I see how it is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Jeff. No, but nope. I watch the streams on this channel on Sundays and Tuesdays. <laughs> cool. There. All right. Bill. Um, I'm uh, running games for Frog God Organized Play. We're uh, kind of about two thirds of the way through Tunnels of Terror. I haven't killed everybody yet, but I'm trying. Um, I'll also probably be running uh, some games for Virtual NTRPG Con this year. I think that's in June. Um, I'm going to run the Den of the Master there, which is the last level of Rappanatha. Uh, the fight against Orcus. So show up. That'd be awesome. I would love to kill you. <laughs> Again, the one person he's staring at. Uh, yeah, so if you're watching this stream, congratulations. We scream on Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. This Sunday is going to be Shadowrun using the Powered by the Apocalypse system. Tuesdays are first edition Dungeons and Dragons. And then next week, meet us here again, Fridays for BX Dungeons and Dragons, where they get to find out what. Um, Jazz's little protege has been doing while you've been gone. <laughs> and Jazz actually still has to go talk to someone about the magical items that he got. Yeah, yeah, there's all that too. So I, yeah. I do wonder how much time has she passed while we were in the other realm. See, so yeah. that's the other thing that we'll talk about at the beginning of next session. Do we get XP for... <laughs> you will. No, aside from the goal, yeah. we will get XP. Okay, yeah. yeah. You're cool. probably enough for everybody to level. Certainly a C since you dropped two levels there. I'm sure you'll get enough to get levels back all right guys say goodbye thanks for watching guys good night everybody bye, -bye. i love you yeah you right there the one person